presencia de Jehová Con todas mis fuerzas gritaré Ante ti con gozo pagaré Con alegre danza celebraré Saltaré y me gozaré Ante ti, ante ti con gozo Let us open Pledge to the Bible I am pledge allegiance to the Bible, God's holy word. I will make it a lamp unto my feet, a light unto my path, and hide its word in my heart, that I may not sin against God. Amen. I am pledge allegiance to the Christian flag, to the Christian flag, and to the Savior for whose kingdom it stands, one brotherhood uniting all mankind in service and in love. Amen. Welcome. Welcome. I'm really happy to see you here. So thanks for dropping in.
thee, O Lord, of thine own have we given thee.
the Grouch the Baptist Church. Today is our second anniversary. And this is our candle lighting celebration. The first candle stands for peace and prosperity. The second candle stands for love, joy, peace. Good evening, Grouchy the Baptist Church. Today is our second anniversary. May God, may we be thankful for everything God has done. For we know that it is of his blessing. The candles have been lit. So now it's time to preach. So, open your Bible to the book of Acts. If you have it, say amen. If you don't, okay. A lame man here. Today's sermon is called, How Can Churches Heal? Well, today we are going to learn three ways churches can heal. The first way a church can heal is by figuring out what ails you. How can this happen? Now, Peter and John went up together to the temple at the hour of prayer, the ninth hour, and a certain lame man from his mother's womb was carried and laid daily at the gate of the temple, which is called beautiful, to ask alms from those who enter the temple. Who seeing John and Peter ask, going to the temple, ask for alms. So when you come to Grouchy the Baptist Church, first thing we want to know is what's wrong, what 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 is what is going on. So how can your lawyer help you if we don't, if they don't know what's wrong? How can the doctor diagnose you if the doctor doesn't know the symptoms? So, how can we be in a spiritual hospital or a church know how or what to pray for you for if we have no idea what ails you? So, when, so really, once you come to church, first thing that churches should do is to figure out if anything is going on in your life that you need prayer for. So the second thing churches do in order to heal is they would intercede for you spiritually. And fixing his eyes on him with John, Peter said, Look at us. So, he tried to get your attention. Spiritually. So, you can get his attention, expecting to receive something. Then, this is what I said. This is what Peter and John said. Silver and gold I do not have, but at what I have I live. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Get up and walk. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, get up and walk. Spiritual intercession links the church and us and God. Spiritual intercession links the church and us and God. Spiritual intercession links the church and us and God 
Somebody say amen. A lame man healed. But remember now, the third way, the third way, the third way, the third way that you, that churches can heal is not just by figuring out what ails you. It's not just by spiritual intercession, but it's by praise. Look at number seven. And immediately took him by the right hand and lifted him up. And immediately is leaping up, stood and walked and entered the temple with them, walking, leaping, and praising God. And when all the people saw him walking and praising God, then they knew what, that he was begging arms at the beautiful gate of the temple. And they were filled with wonder and amazement at what happened to him. You want to know how your hot water tank got fixed? You want to know how your car got fixed? You want to know how the man got healed? You want to know how Lazarus was raised from the dead? You want to know how you get over your illness? God did it! God did it. In closing, I leave you with the fact. Many of you may feel that churches only teach. Many of you may say, Pastor, how can you even heal when you're not a hospital? Well, I have three points for you. Figure out what is wrong with you. What ails you? Spiritual intercession and praise. Only God can do it. We have to intercede. We have, we have to tap into his power. How can a ladle stir soup on its own? Think about it. A ladle cannot stir soup on its own. Somebody say amen. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for what our eyes have seen and what our ears have heard. Thank you for the word that you've given us. Thank you for two years of church history, Lord. And may whatever we take rest, rule, and abide in us at this time and forevermore. Let and I'm on that place again, on my knees, thanking you for all that we've done in the past two years, Lord. May God be a blessing. Let the rest rule abide in us at this time and forevermore. May all of God's people say, Amen. Go follow the king and be a blessing. Remember, um, congregation, um, Dinner is served in the Lexi Hall. Let's go through that door and turn straight to the right. Thank you.